Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to talk about list comprehensions, which is a very interesting feature in Python. Okay, so uh, just to get started, I'm going to give you a background on why this is this is so important. So let's say uh, we have a list of numbers. Uh, let's create a list of numbers. Okay, uh, to create this, I'm going to use the list function. I'm going to use the range function in conjunction with this function. So let's create 100 numbers. So if I call print uh, numbers and I run this, let's run this. You should see that we have this um, 1,000, one actually 100 numbers. So uh, if I want to process each uh, file, I, I could use, as you, guys, as you guys already know, I could use the for loop. So if I want to create a new list uh, with the these numbers um, by the power of two, I need to create a new answer, a new list power of two, which is going to be a equal new empty list, and I could do uh, power actually okay power of two dot a pen, and let's add the number. And power of two. So if I call power of two, I should see that all these numbers are now at the power of two. Okay, so it's the number times itself. So this um, could be very, um, this could be bother you if you want to have a clean code. So as you guys, as you guys can see, we have to write uh, a for function. A for loop in order to achieve this um, this result, but that could be way more easier, way easier if you use list comprehension. So how that does it work? So list comprehension works um, in a very interesting way. So uh, you guys can see we are creating this right here. So list comprehension works um, very intelligently. So the power of two. So we, we need to use a for loop, so we already know that, so we're going to use a for loop, and we need to use some function. So let's, uh, the function is the number, uh, let's for instance x, which is a variable, times actually pow the power of 2 of, of x. So we have this, and we, we need to pass to x. So how do we create an x variable? It's very simple. I use the for loop x in number. So this is the equivalent code to that uh, to that that code that we did previously. So, if I call power of two, so we need to to create this um, a little function over here, and we need to create a for loop, and we create the x variable. You guys we need to pay attention to this, and you pass it the in numbers uh, code and that would do the same work. So I guess you can see it's way more easier. Uh, it's very efficient also. Uh, our code is much more uh, interesting, as you can see. So I recommend you guys use list comprehensions uh, as, as much as you like. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.